Hi guys, it's Peter and welcome to our channel. Today I'm going to install a new upgrade for my Atari 1040 STE and that's a TAS 2.06. I just uh, picked it up from eBay. I believe it's like $25 or so. It's quite affordable. Uh, currently my system running on a TAS 1.62 and runs pretty good. I like it. Uh, but there's a problem. Double click will not work. And pretty much, yeah, it doesn't matter. You have to click it really, really fast to open it. Like normally, click or even quicker will not open it. If you do like that, just a second, oh, there you go, it will open it. But you have to do the double click super, super fast. If you go to control panel, and of course, you check your settings, make sure the direct path path and will pick it up from from right location and it does uh, here in config save it which I, which already been saved the uh, that direction then uh, let's see generic yeah you have to do double click really fast you set to zero it's the slowest is possible double click which it should registrate under normal double click it will registrate no problem then you save it yes save it and then okay now let's try it normal double click opens no problem and it's still saying zero let's save it one more time just for for make sure the thing is i already know it will not save it and now double click on the front panel i mean all folders will will open the way it should be but the problem is, if you rebooted your system, even a soft reboot, reset, or you started game, then you exited game, you go try to open it folder again, it will not open it. Double click will not work. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now I'm, I'm gonna reset it, soft reset. And it will, it will not hold uh, safe, I mean, position, whatever it's called. I mean, it's kind of funny because in the control panel, you can change colors, you can change uh, style or so. It will save it for everything, but not for double click. That's kind of really weird. I mean, and I tried, see, if, uh, I mean, how I can fix it, see, it, it was already three instead zero. And I try to search it on a Google, on a forums. I find a few guys who have same problem and the way they fix it, and that's what they recommend it, that you have to change task to 2.06. Uh, otherwise, it will, it will not, uh, I mean, it, you will still have same problem. Well, here I got a new task. Let's install it and run it. We hope it's gonna, everything's gonna be all right. Let me power it off. Here, I was gonna disconnect it on the three cables. Thanks to my design, uh, mouse and control port is in the back right now. Same thing with Ultra Satan, with that additional pin. I'm not using extra power, which is nice and really convenient, easy to use it. There is a uh, are two chips, TAS chips, uh, lower and higher. Uh, someone pre already been mar uh, market. It's probably from factory or so. Uh, and the thing is, the TAS chips. There's a two different style. 32 pins and uh, 28 pins. 28 is gonna be shorter, of course. And when you swap in a new TAS, it's the pin what previous TAS you have. Uh, if it's a, a 28 pins, then you have to swap it, uh, jump, uh, change the jumpers. And before there was uh, a zero ohm resistors. When I did mod to my power supply, uh, I knew it eventually I will replace the task. And also I want to put it uh, high density, I mean 1.44 megabyte of uh, floppy drive, pretty much. Uh, I, I did remove it, those uh, zero ohm uh, resistors and I installed the jumpers 
now it's gonna be so easy to swap it the thing is in my case since already has a 32 pins the jumpers the preview the original resistors was soldered in the right spot I, I didn't have to do that but I thought mine as well I should make it with jumpers it looks really nice for floppy 1.4 1.44 megabyte eventually if I swap it I mean instead just uh, started a blob or shorted the, uh, the jumper I, I did install the small tiny switch in that case I can switch it uh, anytime if I really need it the switch is not necessary it's just, it's just bridged those two pins uh, uh, points it will be really nice the jumper is what uh, E, E6, yeah, the jumper E6. But the thing is, on those Ataris before, and that's what I did, I, I put it switch and I thought I'm good to go. No, to be make your Atari running, able to run 1.44 megabyte uh, floppy, just connecting, a, I mean, uh, shorting the, those two pins is not enough. You have to have a module. And I don't have that module right now. Eventually I will. Okay, now, what we're gonna do, let's pull it out, uh, uh, original task, the new task, it did come in the plastic protection sleeve, also I kind of did recognize it, the seller did include a small nail right there, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, that's a removing tools, of course, remove it a task with nail or a screwdriver, a lot of people do with screwdriver, and probably if you really know what you're doing, it's, it's nothing wrong. I prefer to have a right tool to do that and then you know you got kind of less opportunity to screw that yeah and just pull it out straight that's since already market I, I mean I, I'm not gonna worry about which ship to pull first or second yeah if it doesn't have any marks then probably it will recommend it uh, do one ship at a time or so Okay, that's a new chip. Uh, let, let me make sure. Oh, the sticker sits upside down. Okay, uh, that's a high. I mean, the higher chip, and another one. Yeah, another one low chip. Let's do low chip first. Okay, the low chip in in place. Now we do upper shift or, or high shift. Make sure all, all pins fit properly because if one pin is missing or it, it didn't get in the a, in a right uh, spot, then you kind of screws up. Okay guys, now moment of truth. There you go. Looks slightly different. And that's I believe the W is supposed to be looks. Uh, 2.06. Oh, it's a RAM test. That's nice. Let's see. I mean, I'm pretty sure. It's Kinda, yeah, I believe it's, it tests into that RAM to see if it reads every, I mean, a whole amount of RAM or so. Yep, four thousand and ninety-six kilobyte. That's nice. And I believe, oh, if you just uh, push, uh, press in a space bar, it will. Okay, need some adjustment. There you go. Yep. Oh, the, the, and there's no floppy. Yeah, actually, yeah, I'm glad I did that because now the uh, double click works really good. Let's check control panel settings. Yep, it it did it did uh, read the way it's supposed to be, uh, the, uh, and the way we set it before. 
which is really really good. Well guys, uh, pretty much that's all I got for this video. I hope it was helpful, enjoyable. If you guys did enjoy it, thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any future videos, subscribe. We will be really appreciate. Thank you.